The past weekend, I was camping in Algonquin Park, and as we were canoeing, we came across this beautiful rock face. And my friends and I wondered, are we able to jump off that cliff into the water? Now, I knew I could use kinematics to figure out the speed at which we hit the water. And so, this video will be a real-life physics problem. Now, in order to answer this question, I needed to know the height of the cliff. So what we did is we hiked up to the top of the cliff and we used our watch to figure out our change in elevation. Turns out the cliff is 68 meters tall. Now I also need to make some assumptions in order to answer this question. The first is that as the person is falling, there is no air resistance. That means the only force acting on the person is gravity. So we can say it's free fall motion and the acceleration in the y component would be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now another assumption that I'm going to make is that the initial velocity in the x component will be minimal. So in a sense, we're assuming the person jumps straight down, and that means this would be free fall motion. And with that, we have everything we need to answer this question. The acceleration is going to be equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second because we're assuming the person goes straight down. And the person's change in position, which is yf minus yi, is negative 68 meters. So let's try to solve. We have our person, they're dropping straight down into the water. And these were the variables we were given. Based on what we were given, we should use the vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2a delta y kinematic equation. We can plug in our values and solve for vf. And what we find is that the final velocity when the person hits the water is equal to about negative 36.5 meters per second. And I know it's negative because the velocity vector would be pointing down. Now let's convert this to kilometers per hour. And what we find is that the person would hit the water with a speed of 131.4 kilometers an hour. Now that's a bit too fast for me, so I would not be jumping from this cliff, but I thought this was a pretty cool example of physics in the real world.